Welcome back to the Tester Scale Workshop. I'm Brett Green. Back in the 1960s, when I started modelling, virtually all kits came with a display stand so that the model could actually be depicted in flight. We've seen some amazing developments in detail and technology in the intervening three decades, but one of the things that's gone by the wayside are those stands. It's a shame because, after all, aircraft are meant to be flying. The good news is that it's not that hard to put your aircraft on a homemade display stand. Here is one of the models that uh, I've been working on most recently. It's Hobbycraft's uh, Messerschmitt BF-109E. And as you can see, I've put it on a very simple stand, uh, just a plastic stand here. The pole uh, is brass tube, and the model has been prepared before it's been mounted so that it doesn't flop all over the place. The other item that you might notice on here is the, the photo etched brass uh, propeller blades which are spinning. This is a product called Prop Blur and uh, it can actually look quite effective. Let's take a look at some of the work that I've done uh, on the model itself. You'll notice for a start that the wheels are up. A little bit unusual but certainly not difficult to do. I just glued the wheels in the wheel wells and glued the wheel covers over the top. No landing gear legs, no problems. Uh, there's also a hole in the bottom of the fuselage. Now this is not just a hole. If it was, then the stand uh, wouldn't be particularly stable. What I did was I drilled uh, a larger hole in the fuselage and then filled that hole with a tube that was the same diameter uh, in, uh, in opening as the, the brass tube is uh, that, that mounts the, uh, the model itself. Really not a very difficult procedure at all. And then it's quite a simple matter to simply mount the, uh, the model on the base and it's, it's quite solid, stays exactly where it's put uh, and we have our Messerschmitt BF-109 in flight. Incidentally, the interesting camouflage on this aircraft was an experimental scheme used by JG-53 in Germany early in 1940. All the colours on the model have been sprayed with a Testers Aztec A470 airbrush fitted with a tan fine tip. Well, next month Tester Scale Workshop will be coming to you live from the IPMS USA Nationals in Atlanta, Georgia. If you're going to be in Atlanta, then there'll be lots of opportunities to catch up with uh, various forums and also around the halls over four days. If you can't be there though, at least you'll be able to tune in to the Tester Scale Workshop video and see what's happening in the center of the plastic universe over those four days. Until then, bye for now.